Today, I'm going to share a chicken mushroom recipe with you that is incredible. We've had it on repeat here in the house and my kids absolutely love it. So let me show you how to make it. We're going to start by preheating a large pan over medium heat. And then we're gonna get one pound of chicken. It can be chicken thighs or chicken breasts, either works perfectly fine. And then you're going to want to season this. To season it, I use one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon oregano, a quarter teaspoon cumin, and sea salt and pepper to taste. Sprinkle everything on both sides, and then add one tablespoon of butter to your hot pan, and place the chicken into the pan and fry it for approximately six to seven minutes on one side and six to seven minutes on the other or until the internal temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, we're going to chop the mushrooms. Cut them into about a quarter inch thick slices and then set them aside. When the chicken has been cooking on one side, it's time to turn it around and cook it on the other side. And then once it's cooked, remove it from the pan and keep it warm. At this point, we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil to the pan juices and then the sliced mushrooms. Stir them around and fry them until they are nice and brown. And once the mushrooms are cooked, we're going to return the chicken back into the pan. And that is basically it. All you want to do at this point is place the mushrooms on top of your chicken, sprinkle some parsley over it, and it's already time to serve. I love serving this over some rice, white rice, brown rice, wild rice, any rice that you can think of. I have a full tutorial on how to cook all the different types of rice in the Instant Pot because that way you can focus on making your mushroom chicken while the rice is cooking and you don't have to watch it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're gonna give this recipe a try, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next one. Bye.